peace, 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 family. Always peace, love, oneness, and divine vitality on all energy grids. So, this one is a Sankofa paradigm. The divineness and the Sankofa paradigms is the mediumship in it. <laughs> oh, baby, when I tell you, like, certain energies will bug the hell out of you. <laughs> Some will show you signs. Some are just really ready for their message, their story to get out. They will do little small things like, why your light's flickering? Why your Wi-Fi just go out all of a sudden to reboot right back up? You know, little small things to be aware of when someone wants to speak with you someone wants to get a message through to you for clarity clarity can be specific stagnations you got questions you want to ask and it'll stagnate your energy until you get the clarity now when we go to the depths of these things <laughs> that's why you have occults and scouts and destiny swapping and wanting to have another beautiful soul's power. You'll hear that now as a trending topic with spirituality, the power, wanting the power. But the, the game changers, the power always lies within. Everybody is their own sacred temple. So with that being said, do the work. Some and that's why we're going to talk about it just like this, Ashe. Some wanted to skip past the work and pay for rank to say that they are something that they're not. 2.44 as I looked at the time. So, and guys, this... <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I have to laugh it off now because at the beginning, oh, baby. And some would like to get you in a vulnerable state. And most of your vulnerable uh, vulnerable stage they like to tap into is when you're in your uh, shadow working. Shadow working the thoughts. He said thoughts will create a reaction, though it has to have an activation for that action to react. So, I said, that, I said that before on my content, million, billion, trillion year old earthly plane, who specifically said all of these thought patterns that come through to your channel are truly yours. So, this is the world or one of these earthly planes that we live in that has been manipulated for generations and centuries. And when you see that for what it truly is, oh, baby. <laughs> That's the game changer. So, take it back to the top. When I was talking about the Sankofa paradigm, mediumship. Whew, y'all, when I tell y'all this, this little prince, this little Haru, this little boy, this innocent little boy, kept coming to me. I put this in some content a while back, though to the depths of the story and how a lot of chosen ones waking up more and more and speaking about these specific paradigms so they, 444 to even think that it was a better option to start harnessing and harvesting energy from little harus from the kids from the children from the legacies 
is where the whole paradigm completely crashed, dismantled, and shifted. Now see, source, when it's done and it's up and it's stuck, it's up and it's stuck, will leave you in the portal and paradigm that you created and the energies that you wanted for other beautiful souls that was at a low vibration that did not match anywhere else. So it had to go originally back to sender. So the case of Cairo, Amar, Jordan. Y'all, when I tell you this, and they say he passed away from electrolyte imbalance, severely dehydrated. Now, <laughs> the fact that I have witnessed a couple of these beautiful souls in this occult, actually quite a few of them, want to harness and harvest a beautiful soul's energy. <laughs> And will believe, oh, yes, I got his energy. Oh, yes, I got her energy. And when they do that, then they sitting in somebody else's energy acting like they a prophet. Playing the hell out of crazy in plain sight. You getting a lot of, and you getting a lot of beautiful souls that's exposing fake psychics, false prop, like, <laughs> ears. There are laws in play. And if you're a channel, those messages are divine that's coming through. It ain't about Tom, Dick, or Harry, what they did, how they did it, when they did it. <laughs> it's like certain portals turned into young and the restless. So ain't no question the why source shut it down. You got distracted on something you ain't had no business getting distracted on. Okay. Mm. excuse the 360 but y'all already know when <laughs> the channel is open and whew, our energy want to come through baby I see you and feel you but what we won't do is sit there in that energy but we are gonna talk about something on that topic oh, I'll shade of that now back to the Sankofa paradigm of this prince this sun child when I tell you this occult and then some <laughs> It's the fact that they copying and pasting. You, then this copying and pasting is done from a false culture and heritage that manipulated ours. So y'all is out here naked in robes, putting blood on each other. And y'all doing something that they did to our culture and heritage to manipulate it. Somebody really needed to hear that. And wondering why y'all stuck like a puppet and don't know who's pulling your strings. Mm. Ain't got a clue. Some of them need, some of them <laughs> was out here playing so much, acting like they a demon slayer. Now they need an exorcism. It's just that deep out here when you have to be disciplined and respect nature, respect these laws. In plain sight. Well, guy, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, he has autism, so he's a very smart, bright young child. He got autism. And he real smart. <laughs> they, they, it's how they will word things the way they'll tell on themselves. The fact that. This Haru was the biggest warning sign for this Sodom and Gomorrah portal that a lot of these, the, this occult group, it was a Sodom and Gomorrah portal, baby, that they were in, that they created on their own. And I say Sodom and Gomorrah because when they tapped in and started activating their chakras and energy, that's to the depths of the power, the last one they truly activated. So, activating that, then going to the depths of darkness with it. 
see, that's the thing. To say that you'll help beautiful souls align to who they are and, and speak to the depths and the voices of the underworld and yet to still do darkness <laughs> was their biggest downfall was the biggest test when it comes to revelations oh yeah mm -hmm. like I said time is fluid so with time being fluid it's some beautiful souls that's still stuck in the revelation portal it's fallen angels walking around here jumping in bodies somebody needed to hear that <laughs> mm, mm, mm. yeah we had to go deep on this one y'all like I said this is a um, this is a mediumship energy grid reading and to the depths of it with this divine Haru when I tell y'all this sun child oh tell you out the corner of my eye just a shining light so bright just come out of nowhere big flash and and using your intuition like what is what is, oh. I didn't even speak I just felt I just felt and I felt this energy a few months ago and then boom it's just heightened I was like whoo okay okay Ashe Prince, Ashe, today will be the day. Five years old. Said he had a demon in him when every one of them I met knew had an entity attachment. I know they playing the hell out of crazy. Living witness of meeting them and to say that this child had a demon in him is crazy. When the child is the melanated one that's shining light for y'all to break these paradigms that y'all were creating like that was their set in stone Cairo and ain't that such I source will do things ain't nothing by coincidence baby the child the Haru's name is Cairo baby hmm when I tell you, oh, when I tell you, was tearing them up. They'll do a spell or a ritual. One, two, three, four, come through, ancestors. When they do a spell or a ritual, they thinking they calling on, oh, yeah. They think they calling on Mommy Walter, but the frequency they in is too low to even open that doorway. So the energy that came through was matching their frequency. Though, baby, when it came to Mama Oya or Mama Walter, it came through Cairo to give them a divine message. Somebody need to hear that. Though they out here still playing crazy, acting like it ain't being seen in plain sight. In these ethers, it's showing, it's screaming louder more than ever. The underworld is ready to come up on the earthly plane and tear shit up because they playing too much with these laws. Yes, you got your dog. Your dog, I no, no, and no. Your darkness is the nose of discernment. I wish a motherfucker would. Like, no. Sometimes you got to do like that to set your boundaries and sever cords. That's your darkness, baby. Understand your Lilith. While they out here playing the hell out of crazy, chopping and screwing, culture and heritage in plain sight because they puppets. Puppets. Some mom don't even know who they listening to. Uh, uh, ooh. Oh, yeah, y'all. It was definitely good. This <laughs> it had to be a black eye. Because not only that, but a lot of beautiful, a lot of beautiful souls aligned to me for divine reasons, for truths, embracing truths. Then you got the cross watchers, the ones that are still in the depths of darkness, wondering why I'm still how how they still alive. Why they still alive, baby? Who are you to tell me when I'm supposed to die? You know what? When I met you, I did die a little just to be reborn again and leave you where you at in the portal that you created. <laughs> Some of them, they were shy. I ain't even tell them. You ain't supposed to tell them. 
that's the thing. You don't get the game twisted, baby. You will never, you couldn't possibly know what a high priest and a high priestess is truly capable of when they are in their power, standing in their power, letting source flow through them easily and effortlessly. Ain't no way you thought you knew them. And how you going to tell somebody, how you going to get somebody to read or read them like you know them when you can't even read and know yourself? <laughs> For the ones in the back hiding in the ethers. Sitting up here doing readings and won't, don't even know how to start to read on yourself. Take that paper and start writing some stuff down. It'll start. It'll come to Ooh, some of y'all need to do that right now because it's going to help. That darkness is just overwhelming you. A little too much. All them thought patterns? Okay. It should not be triggering when a beautiful soul says, Master the mind. Most of the thought patterns is coming in, just coming in, coming in, coming in, subconscious mind. If it's on autopilot, just coming in, coming in, you huh, stop, halt. And the remember frequencies, anything can transmute it. Bet you of water. Think of a waterfall. Think of that water flowing. Think of some some bamboo sticks in the water flowing through. Real therapeutic water, baby. It's going to censor and repel those subconscious programs that are on autopilot it has to be at a high frequency that's a high frequency water fire air earth the sound of trees the sound of birds like <laughs> put that in the last content powerful alchemist so truly using your alchemy as a superpower because it truly is always has been 1717 mm, mm, mm. and they want me to talk about autism emotions gateways portals see they're very sensitive to energy some of them know as soon as the wrong energy comes to uh, uh, mm -mm, too low Children with autism innately will know somebody with an entity attachment if it's so dark. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. Hmm. And that's just looking at it at a spiritual aspect. Not at this aspect of all these books and experiments huh mm, mm, mm. experiments of pigmentations and we can go on and on about it but when it comes to autism the gateway to other worlds mm, mm, mm. and <laughs> it just blew like and then, like I said, I put it on the content before when the divine child came to me and I spoke about it, though I didn't go to the depths of it. But to sit up and say that this five-year-old Haru had a demon in him, when I witnessed all of them with entity attachments, calling them out. <laughs> the fact like in plain sight and then some of these entity attachments come on y'all let's speak about it let's let's throw the frequency out there clap a little bit throw the frequency out the ones holding on to these attachments from stuff that was in high school come on now if they can gang up and sit and gossip and talk like they had a lunch table just got their lunch whole bunch of cheerleaders this is high school frequencies they still stuck in 
because they ain't want to heal it and let it go. That's a universal law to sit, sit and gossip when you can roll off of thy tongue affirmations to activate more of the genes within the vessel than to be speaking through thy lips something at a low frequency that nine times out of ten is never going to match. And then here's another. What do we call? Hmm. They said hit it. I'll show y'all. I'm finna hit it, y'all. Y'all already know. One, two, three. I'll shake. What do we call when someone is, oh, you would over, oh, 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 oh. they just going off consistently and then boom, out of nowhere. What did I just say? You remember what I said? Or just shake their head, shake it off, and come back to get to talking like ain't nothing happened. What do we call that? A possession, right? Now, it's different when we're talking about those third eye Sankofa frequencies. The content I just put uh, a while back. Y'all see it on there when we're talking about the lost third eye and you're daydreaming or you're getting a download and a vision and you're in the middle of talking and then you pause what was i saying two completely different frequencies yo i'm talking about when somebody well shape shifter or body jump some just hop right in that vessel and you get to talking real crazy and then you act like you don't know what just happened or you reacting and you don't remember what happened. We have to enter when you understand that part, you'll understand what's going on around you and inside of you. Hmm. I understood that at the beginning of my phases of being a vibration, frequency, and energy analyst. And radioactive frequencies understanding these things alone <laughs> debunks this ain't 2233 debunks a lot of these matrix driven simulations just period let me go then <laughs> couple of them I ain't gonna say their names you know they, they didn't already expose themselves cause they being scary you don't need to have that fear out here in these ethers baby because huh, it ain't about us it's about these other energies that's gonna tap that ass until y'all hold y'all selves accountable and let it go come on now Shoot. for power greed those two right there and it's at a low frequency oh there ain't no question of what came in and just jumped in your body ain't no question so oh baby and the ignorance is real what do you truly ignore so some oh some wanted a real give give me the give me the ancientest deity you can I mean, y'all know i don't like that word deity because how you go from god goddesses to deity you got to make it make sense that's why i don't listen to nothing they be want to put in these books and tell us about our culture and heritage so give me the ancientest god and goddess that you can put in my vessel looking ass and they and pay for it when i tell you they pay for it give me mama oi but the thing is the e for babalawu sangomo whoever they went to and paid to nine times out of ten that's who they went to and paid where they didn't then then cut the fish then cut the uh the buffalo the the goat the chicken I heard rooster. I say when they sacrifice the rooster <laughs> and then turn around, like I said, it as <laughs> I'ma say it one more time as a vibration frequency and energy analyst. If it's not matching, and this the thing, this is this what messed the Ifa Babalo will say go up. This what messed them up from jump because they lied from jump as soon as you evaluated this beautiful so you knew they was about darkness so (laughs) 
that was on you to go to the depths and do what they wanted you to do for the money. For the money. <laughs> and baby, a pretty penny. Oh, you want you want that? You want you want this? Oh, you want a destiny swap? Oh, that's ten thousand. You want a destiny swap? Oh, that's five thousand. I'm telling you, they was a pretty penny, baby. Please believe that. They paid my money. Big money. And <laughs> yeah. Y'all laugh it off now. Cause when I tell you when it was happening, oh baby. A lot of work. Doing the work. And the work is loving yourself. Loving yourself, feeling nope. Not me. Not my feelings. Not what I want to feel. To the point now, come on now. You you already a channel on a signal. You ain't gotta yell no return to sender. That's what some of them be wanting, so they can Oh, I think that's her energy. Yep, that's her. <laughs> and ain't. That's another thing. Took the bait. Mm. Thought it was Kool-Aid and it was scorched gravy. <laughs> Remember what I put that one? Thought that it was sweet. Ooh, this was a sweet alkaline, the Kool-Aid. But it was scorched gravy. Scorched. Mm. playing crazy how you gonna play how you gonna want to play god in somebody else's world when you don't even know how to play god in your own it's the game changer so yeah watch it's a lot of people folding it's a lot of beautiful souls falling because ain't nobody asked for all that and then these worlds and portals that y'all want to create, if it ain't matching the frequency of what nature and the universal laws is set at play, uh, y'all seeing what's in plain sight. Y'all seeing it happen. Just in plain sight. This right here, I'm telling you, uh-uh. The, uh, <laughs> yo, when you activate those ma and fa, god and goddess, king, queen, Divine Mother, Divine Father, when you activate these genes, oh, no. Couldn't possibly think that this was going to keep going on. Because just best believe, if they would have got away with this with her child, with Cairo, Amar, Jordan, they was going to do this to another child. Some of them did. It still didn't go far. Got to download one of them. <laughs> this, this warlock, he didn't. <laughs> His woman got canceled. So he sacrificed her, just got her laying I, I, I could see her in the hospital bed. He didn't just sacrifice her. I'm going to tell you that. Some of these 33 degree masons didn't sacrifice people to get in the rank that they at. <laughs> Some of your FOP Lodge members too. And you ever think when you talk to them, we, we're already, we, are, we are awoken. They are programmed. To certain rules and regulations in these lodges. So as soon as you open your mouth and speak, most of them get irritated because they programmed to say the same shit. <laughs> we gon' uh, what was it? I did the notes about that too. The fraternal order of police. We're going to talk about that, too, and the depths of that. So beautiful souls can see how certain matrix-driven simulations work. Hmm? And how they go by instinct and not full-throttle intuition. Hmm. instinct oh well i thought or oh i felt oh well i <laughs> in plain sight and while that went together because you gotta understand that these puppets and the puppet masters they use these fop when i tell i didn't see it in plain sight how to put a spell right on a police officer and have them giving a ticket out 
And then as soon as they get right back in their car, soup, slam the door, don't even remember what they just did 15, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> that police officer read, look at this, 30, oh, 03. Gonna scare the hell out of some. <laughs> mm. Putting spells on them. Because they programmed. Mm. Y'all don't feel like, and if they can put spell work on them to give them a ticket, they could put spell work on them to shoot somebody. And then they say the thoughts or something else. Come on now, somebody come. <laughs> Chosen ones, let's talk about it. When we're talking about these dark witches and dark covens and occults. The ones that manipulated a culture and heritage. And why some of them stuck in these paradigms that they created. Because it was meant for you to be stuck right there in that type of divination if you chose that darkness. You didn't choose self, authenticity, light. Baby, that's three. One, two, three. When I tell you the superpower activations in that, alone. And a hell out of crazy. I'm gonna make a sage bundle to y'all. It's, it's about time for another sage bundle. Y'all already know. I'm grateful. The sage bundles, oils, lotions, body butters. It's it's just like that. And when you tap into your authenticity and you know who you are, babe, I'm not gonna use no dub. All the chemicals and stuff in that. I, I'd rather go get some herbs and make my own soap lotion what type of chemicals is in that so i'm going to make my own lotion body butter when you tap into who you know you truly are most of this stuff in the market ain't it it ain't it drink some pop or soda and your face start breaking out baby that's too much acid for that melanin then you got some that just drink pop and wondering why their breath smells like 10 pounds of pure shit. No water. <laughs> but to tell them that and they get triggered is 32-32. You got to understand like bots and ones that don't want to heal and do the work. Since they don't want to heal and do the work, now they're just programmed at a certain frequency where anything can take over the vessel. Especially if you're not choosing love. If you would carry that much energy of what something is, and there's infinite possibilities. So electromagnetic. Not given the space to be open to anything else. Oh, well, no, this is how it's done. This is how a man's supposed to be. This is how a woman's supposed to be. This is how this is supposed to be. That's a matrix-driven program. That's just like <laughs> man, woman. But anybody that know the times of all times and ancient times, it was one. It's like the peace sign together as one. Masculine, feminine, man, woman together in one vessel. One vessel. But chop and screw and say Pisces got two dualities. Gemini got two dualities. So so what you telling me? So <laughs> it's limited? Come on, chosen ones, let's talk about this high frequency of knowledge. It's limited. But then Aquarius got two wave lines. Say it's air. But a water bearer, so water and so it ain't water and air. So like I said, all right, all right. So now y'all bind the knowledge. They binded our knowledge to the frequency of where we would have to research to remember and baby it dismantles everything you playing the hell out of crazy mm, let them have it let them have these little portals they create because when I tell you it's crashing mm. why that just come I don't care about no Trump assassination really it sound like a lot of karma to me and a lot of showboating and showing out and attention seeking and people pleasing. And I'm going to leave that portal right there, throw the ball up in there, 
and get it away from my channel. Because I know by nobody. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's a real strong OG. Okay, that 40 acres and a mule. Okay. Ashe. I said, y'all can just start sending envelope checks or direct the pie. Y'all can start shipping them out. Because make it, like, keep playing the hell out of crazy. The fact that, that you can have a machine, plug it up, and it, okay, today we're going to do a million hundred dollar bills. Tomorrow we're going to do 250,000 twenty dollar bills the fact that y'all can have a machine and say plug it in plug it out plug it out whatever however and then tell people that they are bound to certain conditions you playing the hell out of crazy shut this whole portal down and start over that's why a lot of them is falling i mean and them them like it's 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 different it's like heart attacks and <laughs> They ain't telling you the whole stories. They ain't gonna tell you the whole uh, Queen Elizabeth death. Ooh, that, that baby seen some stuff. <laughs> they ain't gonna tell you how the popes be really dying. They ain't gonna tell you that. But some of them already look dead. They're sitting there and all that stuff looking half dead. Eyes bloodshot, Roger. Why are your eyes bloodshot red, sir? Looking like you've been smoking or some something with some something. Come on now, eyes bloodshot red like that. Come on now, y'all. We ready to talk about it? Oh, is he alive? Where you dig this motherfucker up from? Like, all this add up. Look at him. Come on. Just as pale as white as can be, and they just slap some pink foundation or something on the cheeks. We, oh, oh, yeah. He was dead about a week ago, and they just brought him back this this Austin Powers type shit. hmm hmm somebody needed to hear like that but for real where they be digging them up from some of them that be alive they go oh no I'm straight <laughs> you might <laughs> go, on, go on and dig up Henry <laughs> some of them <laughs> But this is the type of stuff the elite is going through to make sure a masses is 3737 at a frequency that they see it at. <laughs> Silly Billy Gumdrop. That time is up. Mm. Mm. I put that too. That was the divinest of the Sankofa frequencies, baby. It come to reproducing, reproduction. If our forefathers would have ceased the holistic healing wouldn't have proceeded to the depths that it has and allowing it to live on holistically as a divine metamorphosis in all of our vessels. Oh shay. Oh shay to that. And put in to put it in Genesis, the genes of Isis are set that divine source created all herbs and nutrients on this earthly plane for us to consume 3838 mm. the fact that at the beginning of this video I said it wasn't gonna be long <laughs> but baby when the channel messages come through like this and you want it and you want to make sure you are being very obedient as you get this message through mm, mm, mm. and the fact that you go back to it all Kyra wanted to do was love live have fun he was just five years old y'all the fact that but like i said they ain't had no more tactics yeah, they was out here scouting for more chosen ones but shit picking up on it every time they see one zap they like an electric zap up oh, can't touch that one. Oh, 
look, get so mad, block and delete certain chosen ones because they know every time they see them, pooh, they ass us going to slap fire out their mouth. <laughs> True story. <laughs> they don't be wanting to hear the truth. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you expect? This is truth. This truth is it's your truth, too. <laughs> Until you admit it, you know, some of them don't even want to admit it. Some will keep going to the depths of their own destruction. That's that's nothing for us to bear. But we will keep speaking our truths and aligning to that. So with that being said, yeah, he was the last. Most definitely for this occult, this group, and they... But <laughs> it ain't it ain't no falling, baby. They 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 didn't fail. They didn't fail so be like some like I said, some of them gonna look at this video and mouth just gonna drop. It's supposed to. The time. The time. Mm, mm, mm. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Shoot, this been over. This one right here, this Sankofa paradigm has been over about two years. Year, two years, what, 2002? Mm-hmm. And then when I met her, uh, Dawn Coleman, she messaged me on Messenger. She called me and told me that we are twin flames. Came to me straight off with manipulation <laughs> and then she was cloaked so she was given like and no don't do labels but she was given lesbian bisexual though you could tell by her swag she still dated men but it was the manipulative frequencies of wanting me to believe that she was my twin flame so we aligned and baby when I tell you the ancestors like and it was for me to be aware not even knowing that she had been paralyzed or couldn't walk not knowing none of that but when I tell you when she thought she was gonna throw something at me sitting I'm driving and she in a passion seat and out of nowhere my tire, boom, it just go flat. Now, we on the middle of the highway. Just there. On, we was on our way to a prophet. But long story short, she thought she was going to get out of the car and stand on her two feet. And when she could not do so, she screamed and yelled to the moon. Begging, pleading, and crying. This is the energies that they in now. Again. To understand how powerful you are to consistently keep going through this one cycle. Because there is no accountability. It's crazy. Hmm. That's some accountability frequencies for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Babe, what I tell you something, it's not the fact. Oh, we know, we know you gonna lurk and come on the channel and see if, if your little abracadabras and sprinkle dust work we know we know all that this ain't this ain't nothing new <sighs> this ain't nothing new you got some cultures and heritages that is 100 200 300 years old then you got some cultures and heritages that's 5,000 10,000 a billion years old who is y'all playing with some of them don't even know now her showboat monkey see monkey do in the spiritual world like it's a trending topic it's about doing that work tapping into your authenticity which is your abundance 
but ones that them, them cheat sheets baby them cheat sheets oh, <laughs> as i said them cheat sheets on pinterest <laughs> hey they will write a they'll write a spell down so quick on pinterest and just do it that that one it's, it's at some set at somebody else's energy <laughs> though to help beautiful souls align to wanting to do the work involving self-love is how it's gonna work but baby if you're going out of that you just set yourself up for failure ding 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 somebody needed to hear that there's laws to this Some didn't want to obey the laws. Some wanted to cheat the laws. And now, some of these stories are louder more than ever. And I I had to get on here and talk about Cairo Omar Jordan. And this occult that (laughs) they was going to use a child. It wasn't going to be no adult no more. Like, some of them wanted refunds. Ain't talking about that. I could clear all your chakras out for for $250, $500. I could reverse the spell for $250. Ain't reverse shit. Just took some of your energy. Harvested and harnessed some of your energy. Sent up here lying to people. Don't say you going to help them with a reversal spell, but you go right in the mall and steal some clothes. Playing the hell out of crazy. It don't go together. A whole bunch of manipulation. And be oh and be so good. <laughs> it's okay, you mad. It's it's fine. But the truth has to come out. It's time. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So yeah. I'm definitely gonna end this Senko for Paradigm. I feel like most of the message has gotten through. Yeah, most of the message has gotten through. And some, why they, (laughs) some sitting in these jail cells using the entity telepathically speaking to these other cult members through this entity that they summoned. Though it's only going to last for so long (laughs) because when they've been doing this, y'all, for this power and energy, they were sacrificing. If the sacrificing has ceased, now this entity is attacking them until they sacrifice something. Because this is the portal that they created. Who told you you needed to sacrifice something when your self-love is your initiations? Who told? Like, somebody needed to hear that too. But if you sitting as a puppet and a puppet master pulling your strings from a culture and heritage that was manipulated, (laughs) in plain sight. Ashe to the sun children that speak to us through these ethers. Ashe to the vibrations, frequencies, and energies that shine light on things that help speak these truths that are in these ethers. So beautiful souls, so beautiful souls can really understand these worldly things and these other worldly things that don't need to be here. You can go on and go back. Go on and go back home, baby. Mm-mm. To never rotten. Into another vessel ever again. Like, come on now. <laughs> it's just like that. Mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, ooh, baby, cause, ooh, mm, hell, just to let them have it. <laughs> to say that Igingen and that Ulkuru ain't gonna spare you. Neither one of them. Like I said, Igingen, Ulkuru. You got your ancestors of light, yes, darling, yes, yes, sit in your peace, yes, darling. You got your other ancestors, I, I don't, I don't, I don't give a, what? Who, who the hell you think you talking to? They seen that dark, now they finna, they finna feel this dark. They think they know what darkness is? Let's show them what darkness is. Playing the hell out of crazy. 
gonna learn today. <laughs> Someone think, oh, just because they do spell work, somebody else got to do spell work. Oh, baby, silly Billy Gumdrops. It's all of love. As above, so below. 5005. With that being said, love. <laughs> When I said love is love, all there is is love. You know that baby, you, that's how, I, that was my clarity that she was possessed. She said, well, fuck love. You don't fuck about no love. Fuck love. Right as she said that, as my lips were about to respond, this is when I learned everything doesn't need words to respond back to. Just sit in that space. I tell you, said. Ting. Whoosh! Big old geometric symbol. Smack me right in my face and said, Peace, be still. As she was saying, Fuck love. I said, Ooh, baby. Right here, right now, is divine. And right here and right now is divine is because I see my self-worth. I know who I am. I choose love. Baby, when I tell you I started seeing it for what it was, <laughs> pay attention to how some are manipulated and tell you who they think you are when at the end of the day they telling on themselves this is what is flowing in their vessel. You shining so much light, they tell on themselves. They just may reword it a little bit because the manipulation, but they tell on themselves every time. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and finish making a sage bundle. I'm grateful. Keep your frequencies of gratitude high now more than ever grateful that you have a bed to lay and grateful you got pillows to lay your crown on grateful that you have a space to cleanse grateful grace activates more and pure pure intentions of that ignites more mm. So with that being said, y'all already know Soul Tribe family. Had to get on here and talk about this medium shift because <laughs> it's getting, it's 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 definitely heightened. <laughs> and some be, why why fear ones that openly know that they can speak to the deceased, like even the goddess that I align to. It'd be like Ernestine, you know what I'm saying? She's like, I don't know why she got it out of nowhere, Ernestine. And then this is, I believe, her great, great, great grandmother or something like that. <laughs> when you listen and you're obedient, it comes easily and effortlessly. Easily and effortlessly. So, giving honors to the ancestors of the all of supreme bright light, supreme healing frequencies for our divine discernment, our divine clarity, our divine intuition. We give grace. I'll share to that. I'll share to that. And that being said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Because, oh yeah, we's going to talk about it. If it's on these energy grids and it comes through to my channel, we're definitely going to talk about it. Because it has to be talked about. And I do have energy grid readings open. I do have mediumship readings open. It's open for a limited time right now. For the simple fact that a lot of things are shifting. So, like I said, we want to be obedient. We want to be disciplined. So... With it being open, I know it's for divine alignment. So with that being said, y'all already know. Always. Peace. Love. Oneness. And divine, divine vitality 
on all energy grids. Ashe.